So now we're ready to make our wedding gown for our fashion origami. And afterwards, you can stick it onto your playmat on the girl like this. So there's her wedding gown all ready to go. And we can make ours. Um, so you choose the paper that you like. Uh, I've chosen this pink one with the pretty gradient color. Um, and make sure the one that you choose is facing downwards. So the wedding gown side is facing down. First, we're going to fold our paper in half from bottom to top, like this, and open it back up. And we're going to fold it from right to left and crease it as well. Then we're going to open it back up. Next, we're going to take these outer edges and fold them towards the middle crease we just made. So fold that towards the middle crease. And the same with this outer edge. We bring it towards the middle and fold it inwards towards the middle crease. We do the same fold again with this bringing this edge and this edge oops, into the middle flyaway paper. So, bringing that into the middle, crease it well, and bring this side into the middle, and crease it well. Next, we're going to open the whole thing back up. And we fold, we do accordion fold by folding inwards. If you, if you fold it up like this, you will start see this part starting to go in. So we will start and fold it inwards like this, back outwards, and back inwards like this. And we do the same for the side. Starting at the innermost fold, we fold it inwards, and back outwards, and back towards the middle. And then we are ready for our next step. So we take this middle point and this lower point, and we're going to fold along that diagonal. So take this top flap, and we fold from the middle point to the lower point along the diagonal. We do the same for the side. Next, we're going to insert our finger between the flaps here, and we're going to pull it out, pull it out so that we make another fold from the middle point to the outer, outer point here. So we pull like this, and up here it's going to come out like this and we make a little fold so that the dress flares outwards. So we do that again on this side. So we put insert our finger here and we hold our finger around our other hand around here so that when we pull out, it fans out. And fold along that diagonal like this and flattened up here. Next, we're going to make the top by folding around here along this vertical line we're going to fold horizontally um, we're going to fold a, a rectangle sort of shape so maybe around that much it's not a square shape it's a rectangle shape so we bring down the front flaps so we make a, a little fold like this and we bring down just the front flaps by inserting your finger into the front flap just the front flaps. And then a little triangle will appear and you can flatten it down. So oh, pulling down the front flap, you flatten your triangles like this. Now we will flip it to the other side. And when we flip it to the other side, we're going to take our finger and pull this downwards. We're going to pull this downwards. And as we pull it downwards, you want to open it up a bit. And you want to 
pull it and fold it so it matches that back point that you made and fold it and press it down like this. And then you do the same for this side. You put your finger in there and you fold it back up like this so that you get a nice heart shape collar. Now we flip it back to the other side and finish this part. You can fold in these corners like this. And we will fold it up this side as well. And you will tuck in, I'm going to open the flap here and tuck in this little corner that sticks out. So this corner that sticks out, we will tuck it inside the flap so that it's nice and neat. So insert that inside so it looks like this. So we'll do the same on this side is we open up the flap and tuck in that corner. And so it's nice and neat on both sides. Next we're going to do an accordion fold by first folding backwards around about a centimeter above this, this line here. So this middle line, um, about a centimeter, we're going to fold it backwards. And then we're going to fold it back upwards about half centimeter. So that's an accordion fold there. And this next part is quite tricky, is we have to create the waist of the dress. So the best way to do this is to first determine your angle of the dress by folding it inwards. And then as you fold it inwards, you're going to have to fold the bottom part as well so that it creates a sort of V shape like that. So let's do it on the other side and we make our first angle. Meanwhile, also pushing the second bottom part to get our V shape. Your wedding dress is finished. <laughs>